Hello, my trading friends, and welcome back to Forex Focus, brought to you by IG. Uh, checking in on natural gas, given the recent resurgence, going to see if there's potential for an all-out bounce back in the energy commodity market. Going to look at some correlations and some seasonality in the natural gas market, as well as uh, the U.S. dollar market. Keep in mind, uh, commodities like natural gas, crude oil, and even the precious metals, gold, silver, um, priced in U.S. dollar. And so when you have large moves in that U.S. dollar, they can have adverse effects on these commodity prices. So we're going to take a look at some correlations across those markets um, and, and check in on the U.S. dollar as well, because I don't know if you've seen recent news, but it's been a strong dollar market the last couple of years and uh, even the last couple of weeks, especially when you're looking at that dollar versus the yen. But let's start in natural gas, because if you've seen any news on this market, um, it's been pretty bad the last uh, several months. This is a, a market that was relatively low going into this most recent winter, and uh, keep that winter uh, piece in mind because we're going to take a look at seasonality in the market in just a second uh, and you'll maybe understand why I bring up winter but week going into winter trading around two dollars two dollars and fifty cents can only muster up a rally to three three and a half bucks in the uh, middle of winter there and then by the end of this most recent winter collapsing down below two dollars and trading for a few weeks in that 180 to $2 range, um, pretty historically low. As you can see here, um, the natural gas uh, futures have not traded below $1.50, which they uh, certain contracts, futures contracts did hit this spring, have not traded that level going all the way back to the 1990s. Um, and so we're looking at you know 20 to 30 year price extremes to the downside in this natural gas market. But just recently climbing back above $2 and in recent recent trade uh, surpassing $2.20 um, as this market has uh, yeah definitely seen a little bit of upside volatility um, for the first time in a while as you can see the crash of January and February, and then the stagnation of March and April. Here in May, starting to climb back, maybe rallying back to at least normal historical prices. Um, maybe not going to get that winter seasonality, big volatile run up to five, six, seven dollars uh, here in uh, spring and summer, but at least seeing some bounce back. And you know, two twenty or two dollars is still below the average natural gas price for the last several years. So maybe could get back to normal prices in that three to four dollar range, um, or could revert back down below two bucks. As it seemed like every rally we've seen in natural gas for the last two months has been sold into. But some recent strength in this market. Um, and I wanted to check in in tandem with the U.S. dollar market on this one because, like I alluded to earlier, these commodity prices, they can really slump on a strong U.S. dollar and uh, vice versa, a weak U.S. dollar can sometimes uh, all else equal reflect higher commodity prices relative to that weak U.S. dollar, uh, and a lot of people will will uh, especially look at crude oil that way and natural gas right there in the energy commodity sector. Um, and and you can see here that dollar versus the yen, but also dollar versus euro and pound has uh, stayed pretty strong um, over the course of the last year relative to the last you know five to ten years. Uh, an, an overall stronger U.S. dollar market in today's setting than uh, years and years ago. And you might even remember the, that euro got down below parity versus the U.S. dollar. And here we're looking at dollar versus yen, where the dollar is now comfortably trading 
above 150 yen, um, which is you know a, a 20, 30 year price extreme to the upside for US dollar in the same time that we're seeing uh, a price extreme to the downside in natural gas. And, and uh, I don't think the two are necessarily driving each other, but I also don't think they're coincidences. And we calculated the correlation here, which I was actually super surprised by, because I was expecting, I mean, it is predominantly red, which speaks to that inverse correlation, negative correlation. When one is doing well, the other tends to do poorly and vice versa. But it's not as strong as I had thought in that red direction um, and in recent months, it's even poked its head above uh, zero to trade with a positive correlation. Now, I don't think dollar and natural gas are trading in the same direction, um, but uh, you can see that the U.S. dollar isn't necessarily going to hold natural gas back. You could see natural gas continue to rally and U.S. dollar move sideways or slightly higher, slightly lower. Um, I, I think the problem might become if you see U.S. dollar take another leg higher, maybe get back to um, what we've seen historically uh, here the last couple of years, um, you know, parity with the euro. Uh, pound got all the way down to 110, 105, uh, whereas now it's trading at 125. Uh, then you might see commodities weaken against that U.S. dollar, but th they're not necessarily moving in direct opposition. It's more of a light opposition. Uh, and so natural gas definitely can move regardless of this recent U.S. dollar strength. Now, on the flip side, if natural gas and crude oil and all the stories around those commodity markets stay relatively equal or unchanged, and this U.S. dollar weakens off of its uh, highs uh, that we're trading at, then maybe you get a little bit of boost to these commodity markets for that weaker U.S. dollar, but like I say, don't hang your hat on it given these weak historical correlations. Now, what be, might be more advantageous for this recently rallying natural gas uh, is seasonality and the potential for uh, a volatility rush in a few months from now, because um, like I spoke to earlier, you know, in your May, June, July, August territory, summer months, so to speak, um, you're not necessarily getting as much movement in the demand dynamics for this natural gas commodity, uh, given that one of its largest uses, uh, which is to heat buildings, is relatively moot this time of year. Um, but come September and October, and it's, it's interesting because if you've traded natural gas or you've been watching it the last couple of years, it seems like the seasonality has actually been coming sooner and sooner every year. I don't necessarily have facts to back that up, but man, it seemed like natural gas started to see that volatility rush this year more in the August, September, October range, and then the volatility seemed to die off quicker by December, January. Um, but anyways, uh, you might see these large prices, uh, price movements in natural gas occur come September, October of this year and on through uh, winter. In the summer months, maybe we get the bounce back to you know $2.50, $3, what's been historically normal. You see, if you take out those spikes the average price in natural gas is more around three bucks. So maybe you could get uh, a reversion to normalcy uh, in these lesser volatile months. But come September, October, maybe you do get the big spike higher. But also keep in mind, we highlighted here, especially going back the winter of 2014, 15, and 16, those first three boxes, a lot of that volatility you know, was to the upside. But especially 15 and 16, you saw that winter volatility really kick into the downside. So always keep in mind, this market can move lower. Volatility doesn't just work in one direction. But we are seeing a little bit of a bounce back here in natural gas. U.S. dollar prices not necessarily going to hold them back uh, here, given the historical correlations. 
Um, and maybe as we you know get further along in the year, volatility can help this market uh, continue the bounce back or move it uh, another leg lower to uh, a new historical extreme as we just recently saw, yeah, those price lows going back to the 90s. But uh, we'll see what comes of the natural gas price action in the coming months and how uh, it reflects on U.S. dollar and can uh, move next to U.S. dollar.